y'all. Howdy, y'all. Bill Luciano. Eyes to see, ears to hear news coming at you. Got a little music while I get everything together. I look like self-destruction. But how much more can we take with all of this corruption? With the sense you all going down on me. Gotta leave that in there for a little bit. I'm traveling down that lonesome road Feel like I'm trying to head and look Yeah, I try to turn my head away Be about the same most every day You know what I'm doing, man Hey guys, Bill Luciano, eyes to see, ears to hear news coming at you with a little bit of a new pastor I found out, Stephen Darby. He's passed away several years ago, but wow, what a message. I'm not even going to give you guys a hint. I'm just going to give you the Bible verse for the day. Close the window. You guys can hear it a little bit better. Jam up on that like that. There you go. Scooch you over there like that. Galatians 6, <clears throat> excuse me, 6, 6 through 8. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Perk your ears up. Are you with me? Say amen. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. You guys got that? What you do, what you gonna get. Alright? Now, oh my god, you guys are in for such a, such a treat. You see what it says at the bottom of there? You see that message right there? Can you see it? Get it in there. Guess what? That's what it is. Bill Luciano, love you. Pray for you always. Please share with somebody you love. Witches. Somebody say witches. That's my title. Your problem is witches. Amen. Uh, we don't know how powerful. We don't glory or give glory to the kingdom of darkness but only a fool would underestimate their opponent amen when you when 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 when, when boxers are about to box no matter how much they train they would be a fool not to study the videos of the other fighter to see how he fight no matter how well I train I need to see how he fight because I'm not cuz I'm fighting him are you understanding what I'm saying? So my job is to get as much information about my opponent. Now, uh, this message is going to help many of you all because you have to understand. Thank you, son. I'm there. Thank you. Thank you. Give him one more hand. Um, you have to understand that um, you come, you grew up. Uh, the Bible says the sins of the parents pass down to the children. Amen. Third, fourth generation. That means that you 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 was born into automatic demonic activity. No matter who you were, you were born into it. One of the problems that we have in our family, especially black folk, I think all people, because the occult is it means what it means, it's hidden, secretive. Sorry. One of our problems is that we the people in your family that were witches would never have told you 
a witch is not necessarily it is i'll get into it a little bit but it, a, a witch is not necessarily a person that does spells amen uh there is something called uh the bible says witchcraft is a work of the flesh are y'all there amen let's go there before i go to to act i'm gonna go here are y'all there amen go to uh, Galatians Galatians chapter 5 because I want to teach you something your problem is witches <laughs> amen your problem is witches have you ever thought Satan has a lot of demons the Bible even says that when Lucifer before he became Satan fell he took one third of the angels that was in heaven. So he has a lot of agents, spiritual, supernatural beings. Amen. Amen. Yet he still uses fleshly people called witches, witches or wizards or satanic agents. Amen. Amen. If he has all of these, uh, I'm sure he has millions of beings that he is under his control. Or the, Why does he need people? Over the last few months, Americans from all walks of life helplessly watched our economy come to a oh screeching halt. I am so sorry. Because it would seem to me that, that so he wrong. could just do what he wanted to do to people without having a flesh agent. Say flesh agent. Flesh agent. The deception of, 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 of Satan to witches, because witches are deceived, is that they are commanding the demons. <sighs> In reality, the demons are commanding them because in the beginning when God created man, he gave man what? Dominion. Dominion. That means rightful rulership, ownership. Only the human, flesh man, is lawful in this world, this realm. So Satan does not have a fleshly body, so he's unlawful in this realm, so he needs a human. A human to cross over and operate through in this realm is this too much to understand so witches no, or people who do witchcraft are vessels vessels they don't have power they have demons that have power are y'all there or not there amen and the power that demons have are the unlawful powers of the other realm that you cannot work without the holy ghost Y'all don't want to hear what I'm trying to tell. Did y'all hear what I said? Did y'all hear? Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. So the other realm is unlawful, which is the invisible world. Say, man. Amen. The world you cannot see. It's unlawful to operate in this world unless you have authority. And authority, you have to be a flesh man, a human man, a man with flesh. You have to have an earth suit. You, if you don't have it, you are unlawful. Say amen. amen. So in order for Satan to manifest his will in this realm, he needs yielded vessels that will yield their authority, even though they don't know they have it. Just when Adam sinned, he didn't lose his authority. He just, Satan blinded him from it. No longer knew how to use it. Are you there? Amen. So what Satan is doing is he needs a flesh vessel. In order to work through because humans have authority in this realm. Meaning no matter how powerful a demon is, it must have a flesh connection to operate in this world. That's why if you've, I've told you before, if you've ever seen or been around witches covens or voodoo or Santura or African spiritism or witch doctors or whatever, you find that they have uh, their places of operation are hollowed out for darkness. Uh, the atmosphere is very important that the atmosphere is that way because demons inhabit darkness. So they need to do as much darkness to give these spirits a atmosphere to manifest in. Are you there? Amen. Is this too much? No. Now, so um, when I say your problem is witches, I don't mean that as a metaphor. I mean that literally I mean it because no matter how many demons attack you they must be either commission or sent did y'all hear what I said amen 
People who are hollowed out to do evil for Satan, they get orders from Satan. But Satan tells them how to release the spirits needed to attack you in this realm. So even though a demon showed up, there was a human counterpart. Y'all don't want to talk about Amen. this. That's CERN right there. Are you there? So, so, so demonic spirits uh, uh, or Satan conditions us through, listen how I say this, through attitudes that sustain darkness. Did y'all y'all not hear? Unforgiveness. I said attitudes that sustain darkness. Because remember, witchcraft is a work of the flesh. So he needs a certain attitude to start conditioning you on how to maintain or sustain darkness so the demons that want to use you can stay manifested. Did you hear what I said? So he starts early with trauma. Trauma like uh, 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 rejection. Remember the first spirit of murder used Cain by working on rejection. Rejection is what Satan used to create an atmosphere for that demonic spirit of murder to manifest in Cain and kill Abel. Did y'all hear what I said? He works on uh, uh, stuff like uh, unforgiveness, bitterness, jealousy. Say amen. Amen. Strife. Those are heart issues that he works on because he's conditioning a person to uh, keep a atmosphere of darkness whereby they can easily be used by the demonic forces. Are you there? Amen. Let's recap a little bit of what I said. There are millions of spirits, I believe, demonic spirits, but they cannot operate unless they have a fleshly. The best way I can put it is uh, remember the Bible says when uh, the rich man, uh, Lazarus, the beggar died and then the rich man died also. And the Bible says the rich man went to a place uh, when the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell. But Lazarus went to a place called Abraham's bosom. Now, this is before Christ went down into a place called paradise, which was in the earth that that those that were that were, were supposedly saints. Uh, they went there because there was no heavenly entrance for Christ had not died. Therefore, you could not truly be in the presence of the most high because the blood was not yet applied Amen. over you. So you went. So you didn't go to hell, but you went to a place called Abraham's bosom or paradise. Remember, the Bible says hell enlarged itself after uh, Christ went down and took captivity captive and brought them up out of hell. Then hell took over the place called Abraham's bosom. Come on, talk back to him. The Bible says the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell and he asked, he said, Father Abraham, uh, let me go back and tell my brothers uh, that this place is real. And uh, Father Abraham said, no, you can't go back. They have Moses and the prophets. And uh, if they really want to know, they would, they, would, they would listen to them. Plus, there's a gulf fixed, meaning between the natural realm and the spiritual world, there's a barrier. Oh, y'all hear what I'm telling y'all. There's a barrier, meaning that the that the they can there cannot be any operation except there be a bridge, which is what CERN is. I've done told y'all that before. They're breaking down that barrier. Now there has to be a bridge from the, the from all right, that's a lot to swallow. But I want to share this with you. It's on the same vein. Modern day witches. Here we go. Maryland and across the nation are leaving traditional church worship. All of them are in search of something else. Leaving church for witchcraft. A spiritual belief that connects them to their ancestors and where they can feel more empowered to control their own well-being. They have found it in ancient forms of spiritual contact. Some call it witchcraft, a term they accept and embrace. For most of us, this is how we worship, a tradition that predates us all. This too is an ancient art of worshiping, not to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but to spirits and deities that span the oceans and date back to pre-slavery days in Africa. Are you in fact witches? I'm whatever the situation calls for. So if you come to me with 
pleasantries. You being respectful, you'll get Glinda, the good witch of the suburbs. But if you come at me with negativity and meanness and disrespect, then you'll get Eveline. Your worst nightmare. Oh, she won't pay, she won't pay, she won't pay, she won't They have many names and titles and ranks within their belief system. They are college-educated professional women who've chosen to believe that theirs is a truer example of worship that is inclusive of the genders. It connects them, they say, to their ancestors and fills a need not found in traditional worship, though most of them grew up in the church. I was raised Christian, all Christians in my family. Um, in fact, my grandfather was a, a preacher term. in the South. I also grew up Christian. I grew up Anglican in the Episcopal Church. The older I got, the more disconnect I felt. I was raised Baptist. My father is a deacon. My mom a deaconess. Oh I was my. in church all the time. These women are part of a sect. Oh my. Ile Ola Afefe Osa Meiji, spiritual temple. They worship and offer prayers to Ashun, a predominant deity. She's the oh deity my. of the Arisha of um, aesthetics, beauty, sex, they know what they do. sensuality. There are growing numbers of African American women who have chosen for themselves a new life, leaving the church in search of more meaning in their lives. And yes, it can be called witchcraft. At a recent convention in Baltimore, more than 200 witches gathered, a sisterhood, but their spells are for good, not for evil. In this ritual, the women are preparing an offering to Ashun on behalf of a woman in California who's looking for a mate. The omelet type dish is sweetened with honey, believed to be a favorite of Ashun. Prayers are said over the offering and for the woman in need. A portion is offered to Eshu, the male counterpart of Oshun, and placed in a secret place beneath the stairs of this Odenden home. Wow. Using shells, they ask the spirit if she is pleased. Four shells are tossed to the floor, two land up, two land down. Bounce. The gift is accepted. She accepts it. The traditions may seem odd wow. to most, a mystery to some, complex and multi-layered. These daughters of the moon, followers of Oshun, women, powerful, determined, and understanding, say there is nothing to fear. They are here, and they will be here for the foreseeable future. Yes, there are witches among us. This is something that our ancestors did, and all we're doing is tapping back into it so that we can become our best selves, individually and collectively. There's so much more to this story than our time will allow, so our conversation continues with these women, where they reveal much more to me. And if you want to watch the extended interview, head to our website, wjz.com, to watch Behind the Lens. And for even more information, there is a link to the Daughters of the Moon, also at wjz.com. All right, and then I want to share this with you. Three minutes, hopefully I'll be able to get it all in. Be Luciano, love you, pray for you always. To share, please share with somebody you love. To confess to practicing witchcraft. Playing a witch on stage, TV, or film has been a wickedly enjoyable acting experience for stars like Nicole Kidman, Sandra Bullock, Edina Menzel, Melissa Joan Hart, and acting gem Meryl Streep, whose performance as the witch in 2012's Into the Woods earned her multiple Best Supporting Actress nominations. But there are celebrities who aren't just into honing their singing or acting craft. They've confessed being hooked on the occult and witchcraft, too. Number 1. Lana Del Rey Celebrities certainly know the power and reach of social media. They update their followers, promote their projects, flaunt their OOTDs and red carpet looks, support certain causes, rant endlessly, throw shade at their foes, bashers, and even to the most powerful official of the most powerful nation. We've witnessed celebrities praise and laud, ridicule and curse President Donald Trump on social media. But in February 2017, singer Lana Del Rey took it to another level, wickedly. Just a month after the inauguration of America's 45th president, Del Rey took to Twitter and instructed her fans to join a mass occult ritual against Trump at the stroke of midnight on February 24th, March 26th, April 24th, and May 23rd and they can find the ingredients online. The dates refer to the timing of the waning crescent moon, which occult followers believe is a time to get rid of stress and negative energy. In July that year, the singer of the viral hit song Video Games confirmed she indeed tweeted, adding, Why not? Look, I do a lot of sleep. Number 2. Jimmy Page In 1968, Jimmy Page formed the rock band Led Zeppelin, 
which is considered the third best-selling band in America with eight hit albums to their credit. But it was their fourth untitled album, released in 1971, generally referred to as Led Zeppelin IV, that linked Page with occultism. The album's jacket has four symbols that read Zoso, which is identified as a seagull, a symbol used in magic that refers to a type of pictorial signature of a demon or other entities. The symbol was also embroidered on Page's clothing during their concerts promoting the album. He also owned an occult bookshop and publishing house in Kensington, Check London, this out. named the Equinox Booksellers and Publishers. Page admitted that he was a serious student of the occult and had strong interest in English occultist Aleister Crowley. In fact, his company published a reproduction of Crowley's 1904 edition of the Goshua, which is a practice that includes the conjuration of demons. All of these led many people to think that one of the world's greatest guitarists was indeed deep into the occult. All right, y'all, listen, we got a little bit more to do, so that was my first cut at it. Yo, Luciano, love you. Pray for you always. Please share with somebody you love part one of Your Problem is Witchcraft. <laughs>